Oh no. What happened to sexy ass Jill? Looks like she got a sex change. No, no sex change here. Um so at this part during my Jill recording, all the footage after this which actually was recorded in two different sessions is mysteriously gone. I don't know where it is. I can't find it on any of my drives. Um, so maybe the recording didn't even start. Maybe I just spaced out because I was sick. Who knows. But from here, Chris has taken over. Uh, so we can continue the Let's Play and at least get the story down and everything like that. You can see I have a lot less ammo than Jill did. No grenade launcher. The list goes on. And the reason for that is, is because as I'm replaying the game on Chris... I'm playing it on hard, and I mentioned multiple times in Jill's playthrough that the game was relatively easy, maybe because I kind of know what to do already a little bit here and there, but also just, you know, abundance of health, abundance of ammo. On hard? Not so. Very much not so. I, the first two hours of the game were a ridiculous ammo struggle for me. Which is good, because that's the, that's the way I like to play the game. Um, that got a little bit easier. Health is now in a very good spot. I probably have enough health for a lot of mistakes and the rest of the game, not picking up anything else. Um, so I've been good about my health. And I've been doing as much dodging of enemies as I can, especially the areas where you only pass through once, maybe twice. Um, but right now I'm down to three shotgun shells. I've got something like 48 rounds for my pistol which I haven't used for a while, which I'm about to fall back on because I've got the ammo for it. And I've got 18 rounds in my Magnum, and that's it. So that is maybe a third of the ammo that I had on Jill's game with their grenade launcher removed from that equation. She had tons of rounds for the grenade launcher. She wasn't even close. You couldn't even use it all. Chris, on the other hand, had I not been so careful, I, I damn near got stuck at, at a part of the game, and I'll tell you where that was is the snake the first time you fight Yawn. Um, I ended up grabbing the mask and getting the hell out of there. I didn't even fight the snake, mainly because I didn't have the ammo for it. I couldn't have killed it. Um, so leaving was the only way. So even in conservation mode, it was still, you know, for the first two hours of the game, it was still pretty tight. And it got, it got a little easier once I got done, I guess, with about the outside area. They kind of throw you know, a bone here and there. But, man. But here we are. So, I will... this is now Chris with his Resident Evil 5 outfit, I believe. Again, graphics ridiculously good. Let me see if I can get you a better camera angle here. Yeah, he looks pretty amazing. But, three shotgun shells. And... 48 pistol rounds. So, let's go ahead and go on. And, uh... It'll make the rest of the game more interesting. Even though Jill is easier on the eyes. So the differences between the two before I actually go through that door, let's take a look. He's got two less inventory spaces. Instead of having the lockpick, he carries the lighter with him at all times. So that makes burning zombies easier, but you then have to find small old keys to unlock about four doors in the mansion that you have to use an inventory spot for, which makes things a little bit trickier in a way because you have less inventory and you need to kind of drag those keys around and on hard planning out your path was much more necessary than it was on normal. On normal you just walk around and everything's been invention is pretty much dead. I pass by a lot of crimson heads. I there are still uh, what are those things called? Those big claw monsters. Hunters. There's a bunch of those still running around. There's a hell of a lot of dogs still running around. And they bite me once in a while, but I've got more health and ammo, so at this point, that is where we're at. He can take more damage, though. So, he usually can survive with less than Jill. So, that is one upside. I do prefer Jill's game. She does have the grenade launcher, and the inventory space just lets you juggle things better, but Chris is cool, too. That's what I like about this game, is that... That's more replay value, playing through it again. Maybe not as good as Resident Evil uh, 2 was, because Resident Evil 2, you essentially have to play the game at a minimum of four times to see everything. And then you could probably crank up the difficulty. So hopefully they remake that, because you could technically get, you know, 
six, seven, eight playthroughs out of that. You're a bit of a mess up. Chris, take a piece of the action. Okay, so she's unkillable. But I know what to do here already, just for the last time. Because I this, this so she jumps around, she's unkillable. He's kind of helping you out. She gets stunned a little here and there. And in some of the documentation where she lives at, in her bedroom, talks about these stones, so... Achievement. All right. So, how's Wesker doing? <laughs> Where did Wesker go? Was that off camera? Did he literally just fall down too? Or interesting. Yep, very sad. But alright. So I beat her with out firing a single shot. Um, again, Wesker, I have no idea what just happened to him. I kind of wish I would have seen it, because honestly, I don't know. Jill's part was different. And let me see here. I want to grab something out of my item box. Alright, yep, we're gonna take the health, and we are going to take these two with us, <sighs> and the rest will stay here. I am crossing my fingers for at least a box of shotgun shells soon. I really want to stretch the magnum ammo to the real last few pieces of the game. You know why. Um, if you don't, you'll find out. Um, but... There'll be some creatures coming up in the final grand area that the shotgun works really, really well on. So, it's just three rounds. I mean, I, on, on this difficulty, that's pretty much enough to kill one. If you're lucky, one and a half. Whatever you're fighting. Uh, it's not even worth using that on a zombie nowadays. It's just, you want to either avoid them or use a pistol. Usually at this point in the game, you don't even use the pistol anymore. You're way past that. You're rolling shotgun grenade launcher with Jill, or shotgun and probably Magnum with Chris. Um, okay, that's locked. Um, but because ammo is so scarce, we're still going to have to lean on that pistol a little bit. So another outdoor area. Again, looks amazing graphically. Okay, so that's what these things are for. Um, I did this on Jill not too long ago. Again, this is my second time through. Just switched to Chris and cranked up the difficulty. So I know to 
bring those with me. That way I don't have to bother backtracking again. So, we proceed. Okay, and that area is clear, nothing else to pick up. And yeah, you do use the map a lot more at this difficulty. Um, like I said, I would really plan out my routes knowing that I left enemies here and there and that I could potentially take damage and I would, I would rather go a longer way that's safer. And it worked out, because here I am and I'm semi-comfortable. So welcome to what is considered the final area of the game. Um, there's still at least an hour to go. There's a lot to do down here. So even though this is the final area, we still got a, quite a road ahead of us. Now I want to pick that up. And I've been saving a lot. You almost have to. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and save now. Just so I don't have to do it later. Yeah, you can see. At 16 right now. I don't even think I got up to 16. Or maybe I did. With with Jill. I'll have to look at what it was. I plan on going over 20 at least. So I'm just staying nice and safe. Okay. I don't think I need to bring anything else with me. I am glad that I have 18 rounds for my Magnum. Because when the shit hits the fan, I will bust that out. And I will freaking blow holes in people. Alright, are we clear here? We are clear here. Let's go. Ooh, look, there's some more... Kerosene to burn shit up with, and we got zombies, and that will be engaging. Try to get these bodies on top of. We won't really need to burn him. No, we're not done with him yet. Okay, that should be close enough, I hope. Alright, that's, um... Let's go burn them. Don't want any crimson heads in this area. Although that did take quite a bit of pistol ammo. We're still okay. We can kill two zombies probably with that. So. That I only got one of them. Okay. Doesn't really matter because. I've got plenty of kerosene, and it's not really too much of an issue. Okay, so I'm gonna go look for more 
targets. Do I need that? Yeah, I'll take it. I'm gonna mix it up right now. There's something else right here. Demo disc, okay. Let's just look and see. Oh, never mind. We're not looking at anything. Um, I just want to see if there's another zombie while I have the kerosene. So let's just open this door and have a peek. I bet you... But I'll definitely need to drop the ammo disc off. And some other things before. Okay. Okay, we got a headshot on him. That's good. So he's gone for good. Oh, and we got homeboy right there. Yeah, four rounds. And he's still up. So he's, he should be done. Alright, let's burn him. Those two are out of out for the count, so that's good. And I've got a lot of defensive items. I think two gas grenades and uh, five of those knives. So that's going to come in very handy. As I, as you can see, I'm getting low on ammo. Okay, so that's kind of clear. This I believe is locked. Yep. This door here is a way we can go. We really need some freaking ammo. Um, so yeah, let's go fill up the kerosene and drop off the MO disc and start doing some exploration. I'm running with three shotgun shells and four pistol rounds. Okay, so that's all I've got left is two two burns, which is okay. start the next episode at this point so I will see you guys when I release that